company a 60 day letter of intent to sue if it doesn't comply within that time frame. New at 11, News 13's Adriana Lawrence spoke to one of the groups about what alleged violations it found. Back on March 5th, the South Carolina Environmental Law Project sent a letter on behalf of Preserve Merle's Inlet and Merle's Inlet Seafood. The group included research data and photos alleging Georgetown County has not complied with certain permitting to prevent water pollution for at least nine years. You can drive around in Georgetown County in many places and see examples of where there aren't any of those sediment controls. Amy Armstrong, the executive director of the South Carolina Environmental Law Project, says it's worked with Preserve Merle's Inlet for about a year documenting numerous construction sites that they say don't have silt fences up. The fences are put up to prevent stormwater runoff. Armstrong says the county is also issued a federal stormwater permit, but claims it is not in compliance with requirements to meet water quality standards under the Clean Water Act. These tools are used to to pr help protect water quality and stormwater runoff, we know is a, a very large contributor to water quality problems. In the letter, the SCELP includes data from a 2023 DHEC shellfish management report. It found runoff from construction sites is a major contributor affecting water quality in the Merles Inlet estuary, resulting in fecal coliform being found. We didn't undertake this lightly. I mean, getting to the point of drafting a nearly 30 page letter really documenting and outlining specific instances of where the per what the permit requirements are and why we believe they are not being followed. Armstrong says the best case scenario is the county sits down with them before the 60 days are up to find a solution. The EPA, South Carolina DHEC, DOJ and U.S. Attorney's Office were also included on the letter and Armstrong says each can conduct its own investigation if needed. She adds the Clean Water Act allows citizens and communities to enforce it and is a result of how Preserve Merle's Inlet got here. Congress envisioned that citizens who are on the ground and who are you know, in their communities are are sometimes the best you know, watchdogs or people that are able to see what's happening within their own communities. News 13 reached out to Georgetown County for comment, but it declined citing county policy. We also reached out to the president of Preserve Merle's Inlet. We did not hear back from them, but a member who was able to provide information. Armstrong says they plan to take action once the required 60-day period expires after May 4th. In the newsroom, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.